after a, a game like that, do you get frustrated at maybe some of the errors you made, or do you just acknowledge a extraordinary tactical plan by Norwich and obviously a great no, of course, of manage. course, when one team win, it's a big congratulations for Norwich for uh, the well they have done. Uh, I think we suffer with. I think my feeling. I have to review the game, but my feeling now. I think we didn't concede too much in terms of chances. I think the Bournemouth game. Bournemouth players had more chances than than today. Norwich player, uh, but uh, in the boxes we were not solid enough. You know, in the football at the end counts the goals, and uh, I think we we play more than decent game, and uh, but learn from that. So we knew it. So after international break, away is always tough, and we knew the quality of the Norwich players because they destroyed the championship last season. And they play. They have the courage to play. They don't throw the ball. They want to play. And after, when they lose the ball, they make defense so deep. And in some moments, we didn't attack quite, quite, quite well. But uh, until the end, we tried. We never give up. And uh, we had our chances to equalize or even win the game. But what doesn't happen? Congratulations to them. But well, sometimes, look, sometimes against Tottenham we shoot, I don't know how many times in target, 29-3, we didn't score goal, okay? And uh, sometimes is the our up-front pressing is not good, today was excellent. Sometimes uh, midfield players don't make a real backwards, they don't defend the penalty spot in the crosses. Sometimes is uh, our build-up from behind, from the back four is not good, that's why we don't have the dynamic in the quality to play. And sometimes, don't, you know, make a mistake so the football is quick his game is improve of that we have to see what can i what can we do what can i do to help them and, and move forward so we know the quality in our opponents not just liverpool but especially liverpool and i know five points is five points but we're in september and the point is here is okay now thinking about in shakhtar and come back what for and, and go what you have to do there was a miscommunication between otamende and john stanley's well, it's past the, the Nico and Nico don't realize the opponent come, nobody talk and they score a goal. So it's happened. When well, it's happened, maybe not. It's not good to happen, but it happened today. The first goal, um, near post at a corner again. It, that's a, a bit of a recurring theme. Happened against Spurs, happened with Brighton last season, a few other times last season. Are you, are, you, are you working on that in training? Is that, is that every day. your time to improve? Every day. Every day? Almost every day, yeah. Is it? That it, it still yeah, but sometimes you know, some sometimes you sit in the video, we talk, we train in more than ever, but it's happened. So football is not guaranteed what you are talking about when you're training about about what you have to do. Sometimes it's it's not a guarantee. Of course, you're going to insist, but the problem that we have here in that situation. So in two or three seasons, especially last two, we concede incredible few goals in in general and especially in set pieces. I know. We are not the tallest team in the world. I know we are not, uh, you know, but we are built to play in a certain way. We need the quality of the players, but the desire to defend and the way we defend make the difference. Pep, given, given the quality of your team, given the quality of Liverpool, it felt like a season where you, know, you could only really afford to lose maybe two games or something. But your message would be, it's September, there's still a long way to go, I guess. What what could I what no what could I say what could we do? So we are in September. We're going to do that. Okay, congratulations, Liverpool. We are the champion. We're in September. What do we have to do? So recover and go to Ukraine, and after that, try and and we're going back. In the terms, of course, we we drop five points. Uh, and Tottenham was uh, a pity because we play incredible well, and today. You know, it was in the in the important part, like I said, pieces are important part that uh, we have to know exactly what you have to do. So it's a joy as a trainer to to be with these guys. So I don't know what's going to happen this season until the last part of my period here. But uh, I, for not even one second or one step, I'm going to doubt about what players have done for me, for the club, for everybody. So in that period, it's more close than I am. Than I am. I'm a guy who say the truth all the time in the locker room. I speak with them, and in the same time, too, because I know how they suffer, I know the commitment in every single session and in all we do. That is what uh, we have to do. We are going to to keep going every time until the end. Embargo a couple for 10:30 on Sunday, please, guys. Oh, can I just ask? Sorry, were you happy to 
performance. Yeah, I'm happy with my players. I love to be with them. Yeah. 10 30 on Sunday, please, guys. Always, uh, I try as, as a team, I try to create more chances on the opener. You can see few chances at the opener. That's why it happened by far with a lot. But football, there is who will score and no score. So in Bournemouth, I think you have two or three chances. We scored two or three goals. I don't know. I don't remember exactly. And we have th the chances. Football at the end is a little bit the boxes. And what we have to do in the game is to create more and arrive more. And when they arrive, concede few. But football is the only game. The opening is not the case today, of course. But today is the only game that the opening can make one shoot on target and they win the game. So only we can do as a manager, as a team, to create more chances, to increase the probability, to score goals and concede few, 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 to reduce the chances to concede a goal. That is only we can do. When you analyze the result, congratulations, Norwich. They did it quite well, especially with the courage to play. They want to try it and they defend incredible deep and aggressive in all the circumstances. And uh, we, we miss a little bit this kind of, you know, lack at front, but it's happened. So we'll learn from that and we'll see what's next. So can I just quickly ask, um, what were the reasons behind Kevin drawing a on the bench? For, for me, Gundogan is so important player, so important player. Kevin played all the minutes this season on most of the games. We came for international games where they play 90 minutes and 90 minutes, or so ADP got 90 minutes, and we have a middle in three days, we have a tough travel. And Gundogan have incredible confidence with him for the personality and everything. So I know how it works. So, but uh, I thought that is the best for today. Couple of under embargo guys, players, if you've got one. It's probably the first intense period of the season. You got Ukraine, you got Watford, and then the cup. Are you confident your team can last? Because you're obviously quite down to the bare bones, as you said yesterday, defensively. Is there any concerns about that defensive unit? If there are any more injuries? Uh, uh, is what it is. So what I gain or what I am, I learned. So that I've started to complain because I miss a lot of years, a lot of months. Sorry, out. So it's here the question is find a solution. Learn from here with the game. Speak with the players. So in that they were in good way in that situation, because the way we were attacked, the way we were defend, we did it since the last two or three seasons. So many many times. So but new season is challenged. The play the teams want to beat us because we are the. Champions in charge for two seasons in a row, and and that's why. But learn from here. So with that is the the point. We have these players, because the players that stay in Manchester, and with them we're going to finish the season in a good way and bad way. We'll see, but we're going to make a step forward. In the past, when you've lost games, for example Newcastle last season, you've, you've been able to put it behind you straight away, rally and go on a good run. How how have you been able to do that? Uh, we will speak with them. We will training. We will speak with them. We speak after Newcastle, we speak, but also when we win, also we speak too. So, if you expect I'm going to complain for the, my players, that is not going to and happen, it's never, it's, it's, never. It's something you need to do to make sure they don't dwell on the mistakes and they can they can move on. That's what you've done so well in the past. Yeah, but, I mean, how have you done that? No, of course, but they, maybe you forgot it. They are a human beings, you know? And the competitions you can lose. It's your mistake or your miss... And, you know, maybe you are wrong when you talk about we are unbeatable, so we are a perfect team. What would happen in the past? That is not about. When we win, we talk about, we see the game and we speak what we have to do. When we lose, we're doing to the same, knowing what we are. So uh, I'm closer than ever in situations like this. So we knew Hassel, it was completely different. We scored one goal and we forget to play. Today didn't happen that. We were not maybe precise up front or make individual mistakes and like, but I am responsible on that. But that is part of the game. So it's part of sometimes it happens and the players know, okay, if you want to compete for that, it's not necessary to tell them, it's not necessary to watch or review some clips. Right now in the locker room, they know, oh, or oh, improve on that or will not be possible. But the football and the life and the sport is always what you have done, what we can improve, what can improve you. When we win, you can lose. When we won and say, this is the perfect team, you can improve? And you said yes. And the people say, no. Say yes, many times in every press conference, of course we can do better. Of course. And now we can do better, yeah. For the, what we have done, yeah. Learn of that and so 
will be enough in our level to achieve the prices or fight for the titles for the season. Honestly, now I don't know. Like I didn't know the year last year and two seasons goes in October, November, December, January. But what happened today is part of the process. I would have liked, you know, because when we won in Bournemouth, I said to the players, be careful, guys, we can see more than normal. For that reason, for that reason, and for that reason. And when we win, we say we won because we do incredible well this action, this action, and this action. And the team, when you see the reactions, when we see the transition, when we see how they press high, how they play with the ball, they did well. But in, in some circumstances, in the right, in the precise moments, we were not effective. Or the teams, the team, the opening was better. Last one on the right here, please, guys. <laughs> Obviously, you, you said like right now the real season starts. You got Europe as well. Are, are you in a position where you're going to have to rotate, or with with the kind of back four that you play today, is it going to be a case where you have to build some kind of unity between them because you've lost Laporte there? Do you, do you understand? But I think John and Nico, how many games play in the three seasons? How many games they play with Kai Walker? Four, a lot. So he's not a. Uh, also, Laporte making mistakes in the quarterfinals, the Champions League against Tottenham, we never make a mistake before. It was the most solid and incredible defender that we had in the previous season. So it's happened. Of course, we're going to do it, but we have to see maybe we have a problems, maybe we are tired, maybe the other one, we will need another one. Just the spirit, just if you want to take a, a step for the team, for the club, for themselves, do that, we're going to solve it. If don't, we're going to suffer, we're going to suffer. We're going to fight again and again. And but I'm sorry if you believe for that reason for today I have doubts in my team. I can't. I would like I have doubts. Oh, we can improve. Of course, there are many circumstances I have to improve. But if you think I'm going to believe now, we are a, because they lost a game. They gave me all the prestige I have in England. When when uh, the first season it was Frau Guardiola, Frau Diola. Okay. So, and this kind of game here in England is not possible to play because here we need tackles, you have to play that. These players gave me the prestigious I have. And all around the world, how man, how good manager I am. So it's for them, not for me, it's for them. If in that moment when they don't care lose the game, when they don't care absolutely anything in that situation, I would be a problem. But I know how they suffer because in the past when they don't win, don't do that. What do you do? What do you have to do? Work harder, work more, talk more, be more precise and start to winning games and winning games and winning games. And at the end, we are not able, we we'll congratulate the opening. But uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened the next year, this year, next year, next year I'm here. But the confidence I have with these guys, the, what, what even they have done today, which is completely different the game against Newcastle, what they have done today is incredible.